What up, guys? We got a bit of a situation here. A little punk ass bitch by the name of Corey Drunk. Now, some of you are probably wondering why I'm making this live stream. Let's call this little fucker out on his bullshit. See, I sent this dude a couple tracks last night because I thought he was a nice guy who would be willing to help me out. And what did this little punk ass bitch do this morning? Knowing I don't have any money, this little fucker decides to go off and run his fucking mouth to me. He decides to sit there and play fucking Big Shot like every other fucking label out there. Sitting there telling me, oh, I need to wear a mask and this and that if I want to be successful. Well, here's my answer to you, you little bitch. This is a fuck you, and you can take that and shove it up your ass. You can take your shit and find another artist. Because like I told you, man, I don't have money. But I do have skills. I do have something unique and different that I can bring to the table. But obviously, you ain't having that. Like I told you, man, I'm willing to fucking sit down and put in fucking work. But obviously, you ain't about that. It don't matter whether you've been doing it for a year or 20 years. That don't make you any more better or any more experienced. Because obviously, the experience you're getting is bullshit, dude. Because you're not about the talent. You're not about helping people out like you say you are. You say I'm the bitch? You say I'm the one that needs to fucking watch what I'm doing? Boy, you're the one that needs to watch what you're doing. Because obviously, you're not fucking smart enough to see real talent when it runs right by your ass. You can ask any one of my friends on my friends list. Any motherfucker on there. Every single one of them will tell you the exact same damn thing I'm telling you and that I've been telling you, dude. I deserve that shot. I deserve a chance. Yeah, I don't have any money, but you know what? I've got talent. I've got skills. And I'm willing to put in the hard work if you're willing to fucking help me get to where I need to be. I told you that. I told you my situation and why I can't work and why I can't have money. I told you why I don't have cash. But obviously, you don't want to fucking hear it. You're all about the cash. So what if you've been doing this shit for 20 years, son? That don't mean shit to me. Experience don't mean shit. If you're willing to help out a fellow artist, who needs the fucking help? That should matter. It's people like you that make me fucking sick. Because you're all about the cash. Well, you know what, dude? I'm not just about the money. I'm about helping people out through my music. I'm about making a difference in the music world against tyrannical assholes like you who are all about the money and not about helping anybody. I told you that if you were to help me out and help me get to where I need to be, you would see results. I would pay you once I could. But obviously, you ain't fucking hearing it. So what if you worked with huge names like 50 Cent? I don't give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about who you worked with. None of that, you know, that means nothing to me. That's irrelevant to me, dude. What matters to me is making my music and getting to where I need to be. So I can make a living as an independent artist that is successful. Oh, and that's for your little comment about wearing a mask. You can take that comment and do this and shove it right up your fucking ass. Because I'm not doing it. Why should I change who I am? For anybody else. You don't like how I look? Get the fuck off my friends list. I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of tyrannical assholes like you. Sitting there saying. That you got more experience. So you know what you're doing. Yeah you might have more experience. But that don't fucking mean you know what you're doing. I've met artists with 20-30 years experience. Who have no fucking idea. How to even put together a simple track. I've ran across people like that. I put in my hard work. I work my ass off every fucking day and every fucking night. Every fucking day I put in work. There are nights where I go 24 hours with zero sleep 
working my fucking ass off to get to where I need to be. I told you from the very fucking get-go, man. I told you. You want a freaking honest artist who's willing to put in work, who can show results, who can promise you that they will do what they need to do to fucking do what they have to in order to get to where they need to be? Well, guess what, motherfucker? You're staring at them. I told you, man. If you're looking for a quick buck, find another artist. If you're looking for somebody who's willing to put in hard-ass work every single fucking day, who doesn't fucking jump around fucking doing dumb shit like all these other artists, you're staring at him, motherfucker. I'm here, and I'm ready to fucking put in work. So if you want to sit there and keep talking your shit, go ahead, dude. Because guess what? Every other fucking person on my friends list knows what I'm about and knows that I deserve a shot. Ask any y'all. Any motherfucking body on my friends list will tell you the exact same damn thing. I've been doing this shit since 2010, son. 2010. I've been working my ass off. Every day, every night, non-stop. And I'm still doing it. Still, to this day. It's tyrannical assholes like you, dude, that need to shut their fucking mouths and realize true talent when it passes by. Because I'm telling you, dude, I can bring a whole new sound and a whole new style to the table that you may have never heard or known of before. Ask any of these people on my friends list. They will all tell you the same damn thing, dude. Music shouldn't be about the money. It should be about the talent. It should be about helping another artist get to where they need to be. And that's what I'm about. I'm an honest, hardworking artist. Yes, I do need help marketing my stuff. Yes, I do need help getting my stuff out there to grow my fan base. But you know what? I'm not going to accept the help from tyrannical assholes like you who are all about the fucking money. You need to open your goddamn eyes and look the hell around, son. You falling for the bullshit game in the music world. But not me. I'm here and I'm putting in work. Every day, I work my butt off on my music. Ask anybody here. They will tell you the same thing. Every day I put in work. I work my butt off every day. I might not put out tracks up on my YouTube and shit every day, but guess what? I still do it. I master my craft. I do what I need to. As I said, you're looking for an honest, hardworking artist who's willing to put in the time and effort in the work, who might not have money, but has skills. You're staring at him right here. I'm that dude that's willing to put in the work. Unlike half your other artists out there, you know, you obviously forgot where you started, dude. Because I'm pretty sure you started from nothing just like me. And for you to sit there and be just about the money, yeah, I get that you need money and you need to pay bills. And I can understand that. I can. But you want to know something? Sometimes you got to give that person that doesn't have any money a chance to prove themselves. So, if you ain't going to sit there and, you know, let me prove myself to you, then you can do this and go fuck yourself. Because I don't need people like you dragging me down. What I need is a fair chance to work my ass off and to show you what I'm capable of and what I can bring to the table for you. I can show you stuff that nobody else can fucking touch. Yeah, I have a unique style of doing music, but you know what? Nobody else can copy my style. Nobody else can touch my sound. Because let me tell you something, dude. I've been compared to guys like Skrillex, Scourge, Marshmello. I've been compared to those dudes by half my fucking fans and my friends. So you want to keep flapping your lips, dude? Go ahead. Because all that negativity you're talking don't mean shit to me. So unless you want to talk helping me out, then we ain't talking money. 
We'll talk money once you help me get to where I need to be. Once you help me get to where I need to be and I'm able to start paying you, then we'll talk money. That's the only way we'll talk money, son. We're gonna do this. if we're gonna do this shit, we're gonna do it on my terms, my way. We're gonna do it to where I can be successful and pay you on the long run. And if you don't like it, then find somebody else. Because you know what? Just because, yeah, I'll give you credit, you might not know who I am. But I guarantee you really quick, motherfucker, you'll learn who I am. Ask any motherfucking body here, especially my boy Gunny. This dude has seen every single fucking one of my live stream performances. Even though a lot of them are covers, this dude has been a huge supporter of mine since day fucking one. Since I started doing live streams. Ask anybody like Stephen Hobbs. Ask Stephen fucking Hobbs from Redcon 1 Music Group, son. Even that dude gives me props. So you want to sit there and say that I don't have what it takes to make it? Boy, you best be rethinking your strategy, dude. Because I do have what it takes. I'm willing to put in the fucking work, boy. And if you don't like what I have to say, too fucking bad. I'm just being honest. So, like I said, you want an honest, hard-working fucking talent? You know, you're staring at it. I can be your next big thing. I can be your next big hit, dude. I can bring you in cash. All I need is that shot. That's all I fucking need is that chance to show you that I can fucking make it. Yeah, I might not have money, but I guarantee you, I'm willing to put in more hard work and more effort than any of your fucking artists out there. Because half of them forgot where they came from. I haven't. And I never will forget where I came from. So before you go judging people like me, why don't you take a step back and rethink? Because obviously you forgot where you came from, dude. I don't give a fuck if you worked with guys like 50 Cent or Eminem or whoever the fuck you worked with. I don't care about that. Because that's irrelevant to me. Yeah, I'll give you credit. Yeah, you worked with some huge names. So what? What does that have to do with me? What does you working with other artists have to do with me? You don't know my situation. You don't know where I came from and what the fuck I've gone through. So before you fucking judge, take a step back and put yourself in my shoes. Because you know what? You just might learn something. As a matter of fact, if y'all are wondering who I'm talking about, I'm going to add this fucker to the group right now if I can. Alright, so I'm not able to add him to the group, but if you guys look up Corey Drums, that C-O-R-E-Y Drums, that's the dude that I'm talking about. It's obvious that this dude has no business skills in helping an artist who has nothing. Because let me tell you something, back in 2010, I didn't know what I was doing. I had to learn on my own over time. I had to learn on my own. I had no one's help. Everything I do now, I've learned on my own with no help whatsoever. I can't even begin to tell you how many fucking tutorial videos I've watched. How many times I've gone over shit in my head. How many times I've put in and tore down a track and rebuilt it because it wasn't perfect. You don't know how many fucking hours I've put in. There have been times where I have gone almost a fucking week with little to no sleep, busting my ass, just to get to where I need to be, 
just to gain the reputation that I have now as the music artist that I am. And I'm still growing that. I'm still building that reputation. Yes, I've worked with a couple names, like my good buddy Six Seconds, and he actually surprised me when he did that track, Drummer's Ear. That actually surprised me. I was not expecting that. I figured he just wanted it to listen to it. But what's that motherfucker do? He goes off and does an entire fucking song and video for it. And I'm not asking for shout outs from him. Because the dude's like me. He doesn't have money. He's not able to pay me. But he did message me saying thanks for the track. And you know what? I told him, you know, anytime he needs anything, you know, hit me up. So before you go judging people, Corey, you need to take a look at where you came from. Because you're no different than me. You started from nothing. You started from the bottom, just like I'm doing now. Yeah, I might have only 38 subs on my YouTube, and I might not have that big of a fan base following, but you know what? Every other motherfucker on my friends list and in this live stream will tell you the same thing, dude. I deserve that shot. And if you're going to sit there and bullshit me like everybody else has, then you can go screw yourself. Because I'm not taking your shit. Yeah, I'll give you credit. You might not know me, but you know what? I see what you can do. I see how you can help me, but you fucking refuse to do it. Knowing I don't have any cash. Knowing I can't get a job right now because of my situation at home. I don't have the luxury of working. I don't have the luxury of having money. So what do I depend on? My skills. My talent. So if you can't accept that, then honestly, dude, you don't belong in the music business. If you can't even step down off your fucking high-ass pedestal for a second to help an artist who doesn't have anything, who is very hardworking at what they do, then obviously you don't belong in the music business. Because let me tell you something. I help out anybody who helps me. I don't give a shit where you came from. I don't care who you worked with, who you are. I don't give a fuck what race you are. I don't care about that. And you wonder why you have friends with your Come on guys, I'm checking something there. Now let me tell you something right now, dude. As I said, I don't care about your ethnicity. I don't care about your background. I don't care who you've worked with. Everybody deserves a fair chance. Whether it be me or somebody else. Because let me tell you, I've worked with people who have nothing. Like my good friend Ian, also known as Alien Ion. He's finally back on the scene. The dude's 14 years old and kills it on the mic. Every beat I send him, he rips it up. He destroys that shit. He puts in hard work. So, my question to you is this. If you're not willing to step down and help an artist out who doesn't have anything, then what are you doing in the music business? Because obviously you're in the wrong career. Obviously you don't belong in the music world. If you're not willing to step down and help out an artist who doesn't have anything, just like you once started out as. So with that being said, guys, if you guys go to my friends list, or actually what I'll do is I'll post this dude's link in the comments so y'all can peek this dude and let him know what's up. I'm going to slide up here. But as I said, y'all, I will be posting this dude's Facebook link 
in the comments. So be looking for that in just a minute. Because as I said, y'all, I don't have money. My studio is my home. All right? I don't have the money that a lot of these motherfuckers have. I don't have that luxury. And I'm sorry, but any dude that tears me down like this fucker's doing ain't a friend. This dude's just another leech looking for cash. He's looking for a quick buck that he ain't gonna get. Not out of me. He's gonna fucking earn that shit. Alright guys, I'm getting ready to post up the link to this dude's profile right now. So be ready. In 3, 2... Alright, there you go guys. If you guys take that link, copy it, follow it, that leads to the dude. That leads to Corey Drone. So, you know, as I said, guys, you know, people, you know, they say that I have problems with my friends list or with my friends. Well, the reason why I have problems is because motherfuckers like Corey Drone not taking me seriously, not thinking that I have what it takes. Well, I'm here to prove him wrong. So what I'm going to do is for the next year, every day, I'm going to post up. One to two new tracks every day, flat out. And if I forget, remind me. Message me. Tell me, hey, dude, post up a new track or two. You know, just remind me because I do get caught up with a lot of stuff, so I do tend to forget. But if I do, remind me, please. I want to show this dude up. I want to show him that I'm not to be taken lightly. I want to show this dude that I have what it takes. I've ran with some of the best in the business. I've ran with some of the best dudes on fucking YouTube. And yes, YouTube is a business. It is a music business. It's a way of putting out music. A lot of people don't think that, but if you think about it, how do you think Six Seconds got his start? Through YouTube, through a random video he did. And from there, he kind of just blew up. But with that being said, y'all, I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to be throwing down some tracks for later on today. And as I said, if y'all want to jump on this dude's case, I posted his link in the comments. Y'all can hit him up. Let him know what's up. And if any of you guys can help me grow my fan base in any way, shape, or form, do it. Let's do that shit. Let's grow this fan base. Let's build this shit. And if you guys haven't done so already, I am going to post also my official Shadowblade YouTube channel in the comments below. That way y'all can check it out. Um, I am re-upping my Disney Jam store. So if you guys want to buy anything for like 10, 15 bucks and get a, you know, a really dope full dubstep album in the process out of it hey that's great here's the link to my official youtube as well so if you have not done so yet hit that subscribe button on the youtube channel and definitely hit the like button and hit the bell for the notifications that way you guys know every time i post up a new track and i'm about to post my official Dizzy Jam music store link right now. So there you go, guys. That's all three links. 
Um, as I said, I do have a Rage on one, but I'm going to wait on that one a little bit. But there's all three links, the first one being the guy's profile. So if y'all want to jump this dude, or not like, you know, jump him, but like, you know, talk to him about, hey, you know, this dude does deserve a chance. You know, that'd be great. But with that being said, guys, I got to hop off here. I got a collab to do with my boy, Sean Sands. So shout out to my brother, Sean. What up, bro? What up, Desiree? Um, if you guys are just now catching this live stream, I would suggest going back to the very beginning and re-watching the entire thing from beginning to end. So, like I said, guys, if y'all do truly believe in me, help me build my fan base. Help me show this dude up. As I said, every day for the next year, I'm going to be posting up a new song. One to two tracks a day, whether it be club, hip hop, you know, whatever. I'm going to be posting up new stuff daily, every day for the next year. At least one to two tracks or songs a day. But with that being said, y'all, this is Chance, also Martin Shadowblade. I'm out. Peace. And let this dude know what's up.